so during last class we we have discussed about the um, what <coughs> mixtures right so in that case we have discussed about two type of mixture that is homo and hetero type of mixtures so homo was nothing but <coughs> the mixture which is uh, uh, equally contributed or distributed throughout if uh, that's why we call homo that means same right heterogeneous is nothing but what we said it is not uh, uh, distributed or throw uh, throughout the uh, any medium one we can say so in that regard we have just discussed about the particular examples also so today as i said in the last class itself we will see what is solution right so which is very important <coughs> right solution later after seeing these homo hetero and uh, these all type one we can go with the solution so in the laboratory we use i mean in chemistry solutions plays a very important role why because 99% of chemical reactions can be carried out through the solutions right so without the water one we cannot uh, imagine the reaction one we can see right so that's why the solution is nothing but again what we saw in case of mixtures right so here there are mixture of two things that means one we call see solution is not, nothing but the mixture of the mixture of solute or else you can say solvent right solute and solvent the mixture of solute and solvent is nothing but what solution so here <clears throat> there are two mixtures right solute and the solvent but this solution we will uh, study in detail or in depth in your second view but now for no extent one we can say the mixture of solute and solvent is nothing but what solution right so <clears throat> here we mix a solute and then we add a solvent and later that if if there are two quantities in a mixture then that that is called as a solution like solute as well as the solvent that means now the question comes what are solute what are solvents right so that uh, uh, to to which co uh, component or a uh, substance we call a solvent or for to which we should call a solute why because we are mixing two two things that means one should be a solvent and one should be a solute for which we should call a solvent or for uh, for which component we should call as a solute we will see right so solution is nothing but the mixture of solute as well as the solvent one we can say right so <clears throat> next is nothing but solvent so what is solvent the substance the substance which is present in which is present more quantity in solution right so any substance which is more right <clears throat> what we said the mix solution is nothing but solvent plus solute is nothing but solvent plus solute so is nothing but what solution so in solution we are seeing solvent as well as the solute so solvent is nothing but what it is a type of substance which is present in more quantity more more quantity right say let us take one example one example so in 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 this example particular example what what i am doing is i am just adding some amount of what sugar and then i am pouring some amount of water right so here there are two quantities so <clears throat> water as well as sugar or salt right sugar or salt you can take any any one right so there are two things in this vessel so that's why it is a solution right 
But now our duty is to identify which one is solvent and which one is solute. So to uh, identify which one is a solute and solvent, this example is very very good example, right? So here solvent we took in less quantity, right? That means solvent. Uh, I mean, as a uh, salt, we took very less quantity and we have added a more number of water. I mean, more quantity of water, right? Understood? Why? Because see, if we see the what and see the water as well as solvent. If I compare both water as well as sal uh, salt, then so water is more as compared to what salt, right? First of all, it is a mixture of solvent and solute, but we need to identify which one is solvent and which one is solute. According to the definition of solvent, the substance which is present more quantity, which is present more in a solution, is called as what? Solvent. That means here among salt and water, which one will be the solvent? So water will be the solvent. Why? Because in a solution, it is a solution. In a solution, water is present in more quantity, right? In this particular example. So thus, in this example, water becomes what? Solvent. Why? Because it is present in a more quantity. So whatever it may be, solvent may be whatever the solvent may be, right? Not only the water, we take benzene as an organic and toluene as an organic solvent, uh, alcohol as a solvent, right? So the, those things are a solvent. Each and every time, the water only will be not the solvent, right? So it depends what we took. Whatever you take, if it is in more quantity, then whatever the thing is in more quantity, you call that as a solvent and which is present in the substance which is present less in less quantity which is present in less quantity so those are called as what solute so here salt becomes what solute why because salt is less as compared to what water so thus in this example i mean in this particular example water becomes a solvent and salt becomes a solute. Why? Because according to the definitions, a substance which is present in more quantity, we should call that as a solvent. A substance which is present in less quantity in a solution, that should be that should be called as a solute, right? So this is about the solute and solvent, right? So you take after these three definitions, you can take one example. Example: sugar solution. Sugar solution, right? So you can open a bracket and here you can mention in this solution, I mean in this sugar solution, solution, in this solution, right? Sugar becomes what? Solute. Sugar is solute, right? Or salt is solute, you can say. And and water is salt. Water is salt. So simply you can say the any substance which is present in more quantity you call that as a solvent, and the substance which is present in less quantity you call simply that as a solute, right? So this is all about what one we can say a solution, right? So later we will see, I mean, uh, now uh, we will move towards some concentration terms like uh, you already studied about these, I mean, uh, weight, mass, right, volume, density, we will see these things, right, and directly I will give the SI units already you have, uh, I mean, SI units you have uh, done in your physics, right. So here we don't require in chemistry for the detail uh, uh, what SI units, right? So we just, if you know, then it is well enough, right? You no need to go for what uh, solving SI units, right? So wherever uh, it is necessary, definitely I will uh, give the hints, right? So first one is mass, right? So what is mass and all we, we will study now is uh, mass is a measure of mass is 
a measure of right measure of amount of matter in a substance amount amount of matter in a substance right you take any substance like as, as we discussed mass is totally depend on what matter right so matter is nothing but what again we have discussed right so in matter we have number of we have number of atoms and how much i mean mass is totally depend on what matter if the matter is big then definitely mass will be uh, mass will be more that 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 means it is a measurement of what amount of matter right amount of matter present in a any given uh, i mean uh, uh, matter is nothing but a in a substance amount of uh, i mean amount of matter present in a substance so if a substance is having more matter in it then definitely mass will be more that means in directly or indirectly one we can say mass is totally depend on what matter present in a substance right so it is a simple measurement of what matter present in a substance is nothing but what mass one we can say so if if, if the ma matter is more in a substance then definitely mass will be definitely more if the matter is less in a substance then definitely uh, mass will be less so simply one we can say the amount of matter present in a substance is nothing but what mass okay and its si unit is already you know the si unit is the si unit of mass is kilogram right so we measure this mass in what kilogram right so <clears throat> this is nothing but what one we can say about mass and uh, still we have more uh, like uh, these concentration terms i mean basic terms we will discuss those things in the next class right thank you